Hello. Today we are looking at how to install Funk Multiplayer on a Chromebook. Please take note that you need a Chromebook with an Intel or AMD processor. Firstly, we will enable two settings on our Chromebook to increase the performance of the game. To do this we will go to these pages and enable the settings. The links are in the video description. Now we will reboot our Chromebook. Now we will enable Linux apps on our device. To do this we will go to our system settings and click on the advanced section on the left panel. Now we click on the developer section. Now we will turn on the Linux apps. Now that we have enabled Linux apps on our system, we will download the game. While it is downloading, we will continue to the next step, which is to run several commands in a terminal that will install the Wine. Wine is an application which allow us to install some Windows applications in Linux. All the commands are in the video description. Now we will copy the first command and open a terminal session from our app menu. Next, we will paste the command into our terminal, either with a two-finger click on your terminal or click Ctrl, Shift and V together. This command will enable 32-bit architecture on your system. Now we will download the Wine security key with the next command. Now we will add the Wine security key to our system which we just downloaded. Now we will be pasting the next two commands into our terminal. This will add the Wine repositories to our system. Now we will add another security key that Wine requires. Now we will update our system repositories of our Linux apps. Now we will install Wine. Press Enter to confirm the installation.
Now we need to install three additional packages which wine requires. Click on install to confirm the installation. Click on install to confirm the installation. Click on install to confirm the installation. Now we'll open the game in our file manager. Double click on the package. Now we will move it to our Linux folder. If you can't move the file, then turn your Chromebook off and on again. Now we will move the file. To launch the game we need to run the last two commands every time in a terminal. Let's do it now. Enjoy!